They didn't supply the food. What? There is nothing for me to cook. Did you call them? Yes. I've been calling, but they're not taking my calls. And they told you last week if you don't pay them, they will stop supplying. Yes, ma'am. So there is nothing for us to eat this afternoon? It's just the remaining soup in the fridge. All right, just uh, leave me. Let me see things for myself. You will not even take my call. Yes, madam. I want you to understand that I am now speaking on behalf of my father. The checks will be sent. No, you need to understand that we need more time. All the bills will be paid, but we need more time. Thank you. We are in trouble if they all refuse to supply us food. Believe me. Yes, we are owing all of them. I don't know how you can be of help to us, please. We don't have any other thing left. It's only the cats that we have, the three cats. We have sold all of that. Come in. I'm telling you. Brian is here right now. Let me just ask him, then I'll call you back. Thank you. Who was that? Brian. He's my brother. Uncle James? Yes. What does he want? 
I wasn't even the one that called him for help. Again? We do not have a choice. The food vendors have stopped supplying. All of them? Of course. As we speak, we do not even have food in the kitchen. Jesus Christ. What are we going to do, Brian? What did Uncle James say? Well, he said he would give us money. But then again, he's running low on cash. Which means we have to sell something. So, Mom, we've, we've practically sold everything. Except the cards. And we have just three cards left. My darling, we need to survive. Mom, I have never entered the public transport. Never. I've not even used the, the rider's app thingy. Hazel, what does she know? Just sitting in her car and being driven around. She, how is she going to survive? How am I going to survive? Brian. Just one car. You and I can use mine. Leave Hazel's own for her. I'm sure right now she's even crying in the room because of Sam. It's fine, Mom. We... We can sell mine. Now we'll use the riders app and see how to move around. Ryan. Use mine. <sighs> Mom. We are officially poor. I just have to find a way to learn what it means to be poor. I need to see you. Too. This is too much. Life is so simple. But yet complex You can go from up to down I know it happens There's no crime It's okay to start again And when you fall It's okay to get up again Hazel, you need to stop crying He traveled without me. He has, he has never done that before. And he, he doesn't even pick his calls. Hazel, he broke up with you. But why? Why? Why will he just break up with me for no reason? <laughs> I love him. I love him so much. <laughs> I know. My heart. My heart is broken. I'm broken. Hazel. Hazel, listen to me. We are broke. I need you to understand that. I need you to understand that is a lot of people who are close to us, they are aware of this. So they are not excited about us as they used to. So we need to focus on surviving first. But how? I don't know. I really don't know. Mom is selling my car. Another one? When, when does, when will all this end? When? I don't know. I don't know, but we will have to find a way to survive. Okay? And we are going to start by cutting off everyone who is ashamed of identifying with us. Do you understand that? Good. But 
You do know that includes your girlfriend, Nikki, right? You know she barely comes around. Well, yeah, that includes everybody. <laughs> okay. It's okay. So, all we have right now is just this big, beautiful house. That's all. Mm. But, I have you. <laughs> right? And I have you. <laughs> and then we have mom. Right? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. <laughs> Can you, can you, can you, can you stop crying? Okay, okay. So she can help me think. Okay. Why did you leave me like this? Why did you leave me unprotected? Why, why did you leave me with nothing? <laughs> you promised to take good care of me. You promised to take care of our children. said I shouldn't worry about the thing. Now where are you? You just left my children and I. There is something I want to tell you. What you did is not fair. You're still here? Yes, so. How come? I thought you left like the others. Ah, Tiazu. It's not easy to leave you. Are you still being paid? I never knew if anything will come this month. How about last month? Now, what a salary. You're so nice. Thank you. Well done. Thank you, Auntie. Uh -huh. I can't go for you. But that was my son. That's how I do it. Yes, I, I didn't leave out any details. It's all there in my CV. I have a BSc in economics and a master's in marketing. Yes, it's right there. The first, no, the first company I work is the marketing department and the second one is the business development department. Okay, thank you. I'll be expecting your call. Yeah, I'll be expecting your call. Oh, what can I say with this? What can happen? Please, is the idea of a CV not to present your qualification? 
your educational background, work experience, everything. The last time I checked, yes. Exactly. Then why else will a recruiter, a B, is it a company, be calling me to ask questions about something that they have right there in front of them? <sighs> Maybe they need some clarity. Clarity. Honey, I know what clarity looks like. This one sounds like she has never seen my CV before. And to think this is the same company that asked me to send them an essay about myself. They essentially have every information about Everything. you. Everything. Babe, don't let this get to you. I know you feel like this conversation is not moving anywhere. But at least they are noticing your CV. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right now, I don't need to be noticed. I need... We have hired you. Can you resume tomorrow? We're going to pay you X, Y, Z. Million, six figures. Hello. <laughs> don't be small. We'll resume tomorrow. Ah. I've been through a lot though. I'm feeling very emotional right now. I need mm. nice sugar, romantic guy. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Mm. Maybe you should go to him for some loving, tender care. Even if he's not loving, tender care, just to hear his voice. You kind of like, you know, there's something about the baritone voice telling you, baby. <laughs> It will happen. Okay, okay. <laughs> Don't worry, it will happen, eh? It will happen. Amen. No, I can't wait. I have to be rich and handsome. Like this. Just get luck, say, you know, listen. I for abuse you. Abuse me, say, wait. As per, you know, most of these girls, they are looking for rich boyfriend by fire, by force. I know, I'm not against, you know, dating a rich boyfriend. But I mean, hand and brain, they pay you. At least you have to work, do something for yourself. Then maybe a rich boyfriend can support. Yes, I'm working. I'm doing a lot of things for myself. I know you and are. And I'm brain is not paying me. I know. That's why I said you are not lazy. You are not like other girls. Mm. I mean, when you work, you put everything in it. Not you, they do so. Mm. All I need is a sprinkle of sugar daddy vibes. And then I can be like, you know, a baby girl on the side when mm. I'm working hard. From your lips to God's ears. We'll do it. I'm very cut this over. Let come here. Ah, too much ginger. I'm sorry. Too much ginger. Why now? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, taste, don't taste, hope taste, you don't spoil my recipe. Come, come, come. After all these years of I will let you do it next time. I remember when a uh, supplier they bring food come. Don't be all these small small things me you go buy carry come. Yeah. Think about it every day. When we use three days, stay clean and pack food stuffs. That time, post the day safe. Yes, now. I don't know what to happen. I'm glad I with all the money, Sha. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, it's not supposed to be like that. Yes. But as we don't know the real story, now to shut up. Me, me too. For now, they go carry the chat now. Lord Louis. First of his name. My brother. The leader of the house of Moeta. Good to see you, brother, man. <laughs> you look good, my brother. Good to see you. Good to see you too, man. Uh, you're looking good, man. Thank you. Thank you. So when did you return? Um, yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. So I've been hearing a lot of stuff about you. And I'm like, let me come see you, man. I know how you're doing, Joe. Okay, so before what you're hearing, should I get your favorite? No, 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 no. Thanks, man. Hmm. I'm good. I'm good. So what have you been hearing? Man, that you're broke. <laughs> nah. Says who? Oh, 
Philip and his brothers, they've been yapping about it recently. Even when I call, they mention it to me. And I'm like, ah. Even yesterday when I returned, they still said something like that. So I thought it was to come see you. In your house? Uh, yes, my sister, Angela. She's um, opening a beauty store and spa, so we had people around. Not like we, you understand, we had people in the house. Yeah, so yeah. you guys were talking about us? Mm, not like that. Okay. Not like that. Um, you know, a lot of things, we talked about a lot of things. The issue about um, your father's death came up and everyone was sad for a second. But um, the broke part came up, so it wasn't like we just started talking about it. Mm. Oh, well, we are not broke. Okay. Uh, but if there is anyone who has money you know, to bring, mm -hmm. you know, I'm willing to receive. <laughs> it is not Brian. My brother. Money no, they did not. At all. <laughs> At all. What's up? So, how's Hazel, though? Hazel, she's, she's doing okay. Oh, oh. Yes. I heard a boyfriend left Nigeria, yeah? You have quite a lot of things under 24 hours of arriving. <laughs> mm. So, you must have heard that. Um, Sam, his old boyfriend, left her. <laughs> yes, I heard that too. Also heard that um, Philip is talking to your girlfriend. <laughs> um, I'm sure you've not heard that yet. <laughs> Whatever, man, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, that's not the reason I came here, though. So I came to share some great ideas with you. Okay, I'm listening. So here it is, Brian. I think it's high time we started building businesses. And if since we can put in some good money together into any business, if we team up. That's true. Um, how much can you put together? Yeah, it depends. Uh, I can do 30 million. Can you match that? Mm. I need to think about it. Will you give me time to do that? The leader of the house. I know as a leader, you need to consider a lot of stuff. God has blessed you <laughs> sense. Lord Brian. My brother. Um, I think Going she, already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My sister, yeah, she wants me to check the beauty parlor and spa she's putting together. So I want to check the work. She wants me to partner with her, you know? Oh, wow, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. She's the one calling safe. Oh, please so. <laughs> Be going, oh, so she could change up for you. <laughs> All, right, All right, brother. See you, man. Have a nice day. All right, bye. Yeah. Take care. Love, I must find love. Ah, babe, just look at. Oh, God, when, when, when is Mister Right going to locate me like this now? Babe, babe, you know this thing I feel like Which kind of thing? Don't people fall in love every day? Every Saturday, people are getting married. What does that tell you? There is love out there, and I must Aye, find it. Child, for you to find me, anyone. Not true. Not there true. shall it's be a fight. Look at this, she's looking at him. Oh my god. Ah. Hello, Chief. <laughs> Very well, thank you. How are you, Chief, and the kids? Okay. Oh, when? You're coming this evening. It's all right, Chief. No, no problem, no problem. We are waiting. <laughs> okay, Chief, bye for now. Nikki, do not twist my words. I am asking you a question. I'm simply asking you a question. You are busy. I understand that. I'm not forcing things. 
You know, you used to live here not too long ago, and then now you are busy. It's fine. What I'm saying is, I heard you were talking to Philip, and I am calling you. Why should I not ask you? I'm calling you to confirm if what I heard is true. Do you want me assuming things? I asked a question. Do not twist my words. I know Philip, and I know the kind of person he is. I know exactly what he's looking. So you don't think there's something I should know, right? No, 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 no. It's fine. You can talk to me whenever you're ready. It's okay. Mom, are you okay? Your father's business partner, Tom Driver, wants to come and see us. Chief Alfred? Yes. What does he want? I don't know. Probably he heard that we're broke and he wants to come to confirm for himself. Son, people are already gossiping us. Yes, Mom, they are. And that's not good for us. <laughs> Mom, but we can do anything about it. I mean, it's the amount they can say whatever they want to. We can control that. I'm certain that this man wants to come and see, you know, things for himself. Probably mock us just the way he mocked your late father. You know, when his problem started. So, Mom, can't you just give him an excuse or something and find a way to stop him? I wish I could. That is not possible. In fact, he's even the one we're supposed to run through when things are difficult for us. Dad will be rolling in his grave right now. We do not have option. So, um, how do we handle this? I think, um, let's keep giving him the impression that we still have money, but that everything is in your hands now. <sighs> right, Mama. I'll see what I can come up with. Brian. Yes, sir. You are the man of the house now, you know. Yes, sir. But that comes with a lot of responsibilities. You know, your father was a big man and very well known and respected. Yes, sir. So I want you to make him very, very proud. I intend to, sir. Good. And um, <laughs> my beautiful Hazel. Yes, sir. Well, I can see that you have chosen to stay back in the country. Um. <laughs> oh, Chief Alfred, you're wrong, absolutely wrong. I mean, she'll be traveling to the States any moment from now. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'm so sorry, I need to take this. It's very important. Go on, oh, sir. <laughs> Hello. Oh, now now is not a bad time. Yes. 
No, I sent in 23 million naira. Yes. Yes. No, I need to confirm the other goods before I can send in the balance. So the total down payment is 76 million naira. <laughs> exactly. No, 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 it's fine. Um, yes. It's nice doing business with you too. All right. I am so sorry. I just need to take the call. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> You know, we had to wait for you as the new boss of the house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very hard working boss. Mm -hmm. Very hard working, you know. yes, darling. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm so impressed with you. Thank you, sir. The way you have taken over things from your father and continuing keeping his legacy. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. Ah, but you must have heard some people say that, uh, that I hated your father. Oh, well, we, we heard. We heard things. Listen, don't pay them any attention. Hmm? Well, your father was a very stubborn man, yes, and we fell out a number of times, but I respected your father. In fact, I admire your father. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can see you are running your own business now because everything your father had went down the drain before he died. I'm building new businesses with what my father left me, so. Wow, that's good. See, just allow me to help you whenever you need. Okay, sir. Hmm? Don't be shy. Thank Come you, to sir. me. All right, that is appreciated, okay. sir. Yeah. Well, now let me stop talking and continue my delicious food. Oh, yes, please. Enjoy your meal, Chief. <laughs> going to do this. This is so tiring. Believe me, I'm exhausted. I mean, laughing and smiling when you don't even feel like it. <sighs> you convinced him that there's still a lot more to benefit from us still being friends. Yes. What exactly? It doesn't have to be real. But the idea that he is relating with, you know, people of same class makes everyone comfortable. No. We don't need this kind of relationships. I understand you, Brian, but, um, but believe me, there is sense in managing a relationship, no matter what it looks like. But there has to be a way of doing this without having to lie about anything. We have to keep up the appearance, else we will lose everyone. And believe me, no one survives in isolation. What if we need to lose them? Brian. Life is so simple, but yet complex. You can go from up to down, I know it happens. There's no crime, it's okay to start again. And when you fall, it's okay to get up again. Hmm. Business woman. Uh, Zobo on fire. Online research and business development deal on the other side. <laughs> This one is still Zobo matter. Still on the Zobo matter. What are you doing? As you see, I'm working on a marketing strategy to push my Zobo business. Are you for real? Oh my God. I just finished the branding material. In fact, 
I'll be printing out some stickers and we'll rebrand and expand. Uh, uh, what do you think about friend, it? You are really going all out for this business then? Of course. Of course. Look, all I want now is to get a nine to five or a remote job that can help me support my business. Because right now I need, I need to buy some equipment. So I need more money. It's either I save or I just need something on the side. Like, so the thing with this business is I need to get some equipment that can help with preserving the goods. Oh. There's some things that I can use to preserve the leaf. And also when I make Zobo in bulk, if I get like a very massive refrigerator, it can hold in more numbers and I can increase my supply. <laughs> so um, do you have other places you supply to? Yes, I just go one more place. In fact, that's why I'm making this perfect. I'll go cooler and grand distribute. Uh uh. Hey God, you gave me such a wonderful friend. See why I like you. In fact, I love you. <laughs> See, babe. Thank if you. Nani they lay off, the way they lay on her off. Ah, I forgot that the patient did it. Oh, ye of little faith. Don't underestimate yourself. See, sometimes when you're put in a difficult situation, that's when you bounce back and know the stuff you're made of. Babe. <sighs> You know me now. I don't trust all this spontaneous trouble. If you won't sack me, tell me on time. Make a fluffy find another job. I don't I don't like stress in my life. Mm. But you know what? When life slaps you, you'll find something to do. Uh, mm -hmm. So life should be slapping me up right now. Because <laughs> I don't want life has slapped me enough. I don't want anymore. Honestly. Oh my god, I'm so happy for you. So what do you want me to do? You want me to do it? Um. I'll show you how to make it. Okay. I'm tired. My feet hurt. Sorry. <laughs> oh. <sighs> you said you were going to call me when you get to a more point. That's what you told me. I am still waiting. I just want to know what is going on. That's why I'm calling. Listen. Philip is not my problem. I just want to find out what exactly is going on from you. You're not in the mood to talk about it. All right. Call me when you're in the mood. Nikki? Yes. What's going on? Philip is talking to Nikki. Philip is going to take her away from me. Yes. He will do anything to impress her just to spite you. That is why I'm trying to call her to confirm exactly what is going on. And how do you know about Philip and Nikki? Louis. <sighs> and Louis does not lie. Just that he doesn't keep quiet about whatever he has. That's true. Then you may want to start moving on. Yes. There is no confirmation yet. Hmm. He just said Philip is talking to her. Brian. Louise was saying it in a way that hurt less. Philip is going after Nikki. And from the way Nikki has been behaving, trust me, I'm very certain she must have said yes. Good afternoon, madam. This is not a good time to talk. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye. And who was that? One of the organizations that was sponsoring. Oh, oh my God, I forgot about those ones. Many of them have been calling these past few days. What are you going to do now? I don't know. Oh, I wish we had something to you know, manage with all the situation. Unfortunately, there is none. We just need to earn and pay bills. How? I keep asking how. I don't know, but I will do whatever it takes to get us out of this situation. You might want to start considering the partnership with um, Angela. How? I don't have any money to contribute. How much was she asking you to contribute? About two to five millionaire. Hmm. It's all right. When we sell my car, we should be able to decide where to put the money. 
Wait, she was still selling the car. I don't have a choice. And after that, you guys will sell my car. Please, this whole situation is becoming very depressing. I'm tired. I'm frustrated. Nobody's selling your car. Come in. Mom. Brian. Do you remember that girl that works with dad and she had a fight with the marketing manager? No. Why? I need to find her. Why? I just remember what she did. Well, I barely remember her name. But then why does she fight your father's marketing manager? Oh, well, he decided on a business strategy that made dad lose money. Wow, that, that was nearly two years ago. Yes. I remember what dad said about her. What? Dad said that she was restless enough to upset his status quo, but diligent enough to see it stick. Oh, well. <laughs> so why was she not promoted? Dad wanted her where she can be active in the field, but still he runs all his ideas by her. I see. Hmm. Well, I don't remember her name. I need to find her. Who can I call? Who can I call to find anything about her? Why, why are you looking for her? Let me find her first. All right, in that case, why don't you go to the BQ? Remember your father's company documents are there. I'm sure you would find something, you know, about her. Oh my God, mom, you're a genius. I never even thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> right. Yes, mom, I'll see you later. Brian. All right, it's ready. I mm. present before you two flavors pineapple and ginger, orange and ginger. What's your mm. flavor? Left. Great choice. What if I want orange too? Uh oh, Oliver Twist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Oh my god, this is amazing! So nice! Are you serious? I know it's nice. Maybe it's job. Hello? Yes, speaking. This is she. Good afternoon, sir. Today? Yes, today is fine. It works fine. I'll, I'll be there. Yes, this evening. All right, I'll see you. Okay. Bye. Who was that? <sighs> Brian Moweta. Your boss's son? Exactly. What did he say? That he and his mom wants to see me. What does that mean? If you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So what are you going to do now? I'll go now. I'll go and find out. Ah, she. Mm, I think they want to compensate the workers they laid off. Oh, that will be a lot of money. They have the money. Uh, not anymore. Tell me they became that broke. They are broke, 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 broke. 
<laughs> but not you and me, bro. <laughs> 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 right. Let me go again. All right, all right, babe. See you. Ah, nice zobo. Just I'm not blind. Why did they give yourself this kind of work? Just carry everything, put inside fridge straight. I can't keep sachet water in this kitchen. Why? But what I don't finish, they pay, and they never supply us. I used them save Madame this afternoon, and she warned me never to bring it to her ever again. Yeah. So. I think they make her face say she don't pour away. Well. Which is why I washed these bottles and decided to use them to store it. <sighs> But she will know the taste now. Ato, what can I do about that one? I told her what I want to do, and she told me to do whatever I like, but never to bring sachet water to her again. Mm. Okay, Ato, mm -hmm. let me help you. Since she knows. Please, Ato, please, that's a nice question. No, this. Let me look for trouble. Glad to have you. Thanks for inviting me. You're welcome. Please come. This is. All right. So, um, my mom will not be joining us. Okay. However, I. She's aware you're here, but I am the one who wants to speak with you. Okay. Okay. First of all, I want to start by saying that I am aware you and many other staff are still being old areas. Yes. I am not making any promises, but I will ensure we do something about that. Right. Thank you. Thank you. So, I called you here for something different, though. Is everything okay, sir? Yes, sure. Everything is okay. So, do you work anywhere now? No, not yet, sir. I'm still searching for a job. I'm so sorry about that. That's fine. So, what do you do? Right now, I... I make Zobo. You sell Zobo? Yes, I sell Zobo from home. Okay. So when you get a job, you would um, stop selling Zobo? No, I won't stop selling Zobo. I'll keep selling it because I hope to grow the business while, while I'm working. Hmm. So it's like you're going into uh, manufacturing? Yes, I'm looking at introducing other flavors and other African drinks. Hmm. That is so delicious. I know, right? <laughs> wow. So I was um, hoping we could uh, discuss an idea and you will help me develop it. Help you? <sighs> Why do you think that I would help you develop your business? Okay. Um, I remember an incident back there where you and your team designed a product with the marketing strategy mm -hmm. and the marketing manager then um, trashed it. Yeah. He used another one <laughs> that drowns my father's money. He wanted to pin it on you and you fought him to a standstill. Mm -hmm. And chiefly because my father said he went with your idea and um, strategy. But... Um, and it also worked. 
Yes, it it worked, but it wasn't managed properly, so it didn't make any difference. Yeah. For all the things my father did right, he trusted the wrong people with his business and they ran into the ground. It's quite sad. Yeah, it is. So, can you help? Yes, I think I, I can help. Hmm. Fair enough. So, do you live far from here? Yes, my place is really far. Mm, it will be okay to do online meetings, yeah? Sure. I'm open to that, sir. Okay. If you don't mind me asking, are you trying to revive your father's company? No. I'm building mine from the scratch. There's oh. no crime. Okay. I walked on an idea last night. Let me just grab my sister. If there's anyone that is willing to pay, let the person pay quickly. Of course, I have tons of bills to pay. You should know that the cars are in good condition. All right, just get back to me, okay? All right then, thank you. So get up, get up. Move on. Get up, get up. I need to waste something else now. Get up, get up. Move on. Get up, get up. Oh, get up, get up. So tell me, why do you think you need her? She know the job. And how do you know about that? Dad said so. But I don't remember Dad ever saying anything like that about her. Well, I walked in on a situation in the company's office and Dad said that she is good. It's not like the company recognized her in any way, though. Mm. Was she a manager? No. Mm. Well, it seems to me that you trust her, so I don't think I have anything to say about it. Well, I don't have a choice. I study statistics, no proper training in business. You, psychology, so we need someone who is an expert in business management and job for free because we don't have any money to pay anybody right now. That's where she comes in. Hmm. I think you're right. Um, there's someone at the door. Let me get. Okay. Door. All right. Hey, hey, Nikki. Hi, husband. Hi, it's been a long time. Yeah, how are you? Hi, friend. Hi. How are you? I'm, I'm all right. You? I'm fine. Um, I think I need to allow you both. Let me allow you with your man. Please sit. You're okay? Brian, we need to talk. Okay. Why are you smiling? Because I fear I know where this talk is headed. Don't assume you know something until you hear me out. Okay. I'm listening. I don't like the fact that you don't trust me. Says who? You, of course. Why do you think I'm saying Philip? Well, I heard something and I decided to call you to find out if it is true. If you heard something about me, won't you call me to confirm it? If it's something that you didn't do, why would I bother calling? Well, I was actually calling to find out if we're still together. But if that offends you, I'm sorry. I wasn't accusing you of anything. I apologize. Brian, we need a break. So all this talk is just for formalities. You are actually waiting for this moment. Brian, I just feel like the family pressure you are going through is changing you. What? Yes, I am serious about it. Wait, family pressure? That is the reason you want to break up with me? I'm serious about it. 
you know, this is the time that I need you the most. You're supposed to be standing by me at this crucial point of my life. And you want to run? Wait, wait. Are you trying to walk out on me? Okay, fine. Nice talking to you. I'm sorry. Were you eavesdropping? Yes, I was. Oh, well, she... She finally said it. I'm so sorry. I know you love her so much. You know how much you love her. Don't worry, I mean, I'm fully focused on, you know, surviving. But you know we are not hustlers. We've always had things very easy. I know. But we can learn. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Oh, come on. No. You're a man. It's fine. Oh, come on. I'm, I'm your big brother. I'm, I'm fine. You'll be fine. You're a man. Hmm? You'll be fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I said I'm fine. What, what is it? Yeah. I'm your big brother. Come on. You can go from up to down I know it happens There's no crime It's okay to start again And when you fall It's okay to get up again So get up, get up Move on get up, get up. This one, yes Everything is okay. That's good. Yeah. It's buy and drive. Everything is working. How's the car? All right. Finally sold the car. And when you fall, yes. It's okay to get up again. 
So how are we going to survive this? We fight. So get up, get up. Move on. Get up, get up. Get up, get up. It's okay. Get up, get up. It's okay, let's just go on. Stop crying. Okay? It's just a challenge and we'll overcome it. Get up, get up. It's okay. I told you to stop crying at every minute. Like, get up, get up. Oh, Lord. I really need a direction. Stand up on your feet. Stand up on your feet. Hello? Hi. Good day, sir. Good evening. Yes, I've done some research and, and based off our conversation, I've discovered some things that we can work on immediately and other projects that we can put up for much later. Okay, so which one can we focus on now? So I went through the list of your father's properties and I discovered that there was one that was designed to be a complex, like a mini complex. I think that we should work on that first. Yes, but I told you we, the complex is uncompleted and I don't have the money to complete it now. But you do. How? So with five million, you can finish up one side of the complex and put it up for rent. Use the remaining, the rent money to finish the remaining portion. Exactly. Wow. And then we can use the proceeds from that to set up another section of the plaza, fit it in and start making sales from My that one. My God. How come I didn't think about this? It's okay. You have your hands in too many pies. Hmm. Or maybe... Just maybe you are good at what you do. Maybe. <laughs> you know, I was wondering what you wanted when you asked if there was any property anywhere. Yes, I wanted to see what we have on ground and what's available. It's always good to start with what you have in your hand. So I just thought that there might be something like a cash cow that we can start with. And this property is a perfect fit because it's in a very strategic location. It's in a densely populated area and you have a lot of um, traffic, human traffic around that area. So it's great for business. The moment we put it up, I'm sure we can find one or two people who want to take up the space immediately. Fact. Fact. Thank you for giving me this brilliant idea. I would see how I can put together the amount you mentioned so that we can start working immediately. All right. All right. Have a good night. Sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> yes. yes! Okay. Okay. So, um, talk to her about some other ideas and see how we can get it working. I love this. I love this. Okay. can't have enough of this obo. They were calling me. Honestly, I had to put another set on the fire. Like play like play. You make millions with this obo <laughs> business. Ah uh ah, -uh, my friend. From your lips to God's game. Amen. No. Easy. So, baby London, tell me what's your latest design? Mom. Yes, darling, I'm on call with my designers. Ah! <laughs> I mean, what can I do? <laughs> so tell me, what do you have for me? 
you're used to giving me something very classy, but this time around, I need classy, as in extremely classy. That's what I want. So how much? I'm talking about the letters design you have now. How much? Four million, BB. Four million is too much. Give me 2.8. 2.8 can get me something very classy from you, BB. Come on, stop it. Brian. What? You need to come to mom's room now. Why? I'm busy. Doing what? I'm costing building material. For what? For what I need to do. You're distracting me. Brian, you need to follow me to mom's room. She's calling her designer. What? Yes, and I heard something about 2.8 million. So, no, no, go, go, go. <laughs> Why, why? What is it? Mom, what are you doing calling your designer? Hazel? Oh, you reported me to your brother. Mom, she did not report you. She was just worried. Worried about what? Mom, did you call your designer? Of course I did. Why? What do you mean, why? All right, I didn't tell you. Dr. Mrs. Alfred invited me to her birthday party. And none of your old clothes is good enough. What is this? You want me to wear my old clothes? To Dr. Mrs. Alfred's party? Mom, we cannot afford to buy anything that will not bring the money back with profit. Did I not tell you that it's very important for us to keep up the appearance? And mom, I disagreed with you. I told you that it is not important to spend what you have trying to impress people who don't care about you. Yes, I agree with him, mom. Oh, will you shut up? What you did is off putting Mom. I watched them drove his car away and I felt like crying. So I do not think the best use for that money is to throw it away just to buy clothes to impress Mrs. Afraid. Mom, I understand the fact that you used to parties and splashing millions of naira on, you know, clothes and jewelries, but right now we cannot afford it. Now I have something I need to do with that money that will benefit all of us. So I need that money transferred to me. Ha! Poverty. Shame on you. You are nothing but a bastard. Exactly, Mom. So I need all of the money transferred to my account. Now you and you, get out. We, we love, love you, Mom. Now you get out. Get out of my room now. <laughs> Get out! Mom said you should get out. Get out. So, Mom, please. Um, I don't know if you're going to do the transfer now or I, I can wait later. What, 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 what do you think? You are indeed a thief. Ah, uh, Mom, I... You, please, please. She said we should get out. It's you who said me. you should get out. Get I'll out. I'll deal with you later. Mom. Now get out. Out. Mom, I need the money. I said out! I do not want you to misunderstand me. And I'm not saying that I'm not aware of the realities of things surrounding us. But there is one thing I want you to understand here. I am a very strong believer in natural relationships. I believe that too. And really, I want you to go for that party. But I'm saying, Mom, 
wear one of those your old clothes. You have nice clothes there. We can afford new one. We need money for a lot of things. And we need to start helping ourselves and stop putting our hope in anyone. But you know how much I hate it to repeat clothes, especially at a high event like this. I understand, Mom. And I know it is not easy, but we need to adjust. Hazel, that we are both worried about, she's fast adjusting and you need to do the same too. It's not easy on any one of us, but we need to do this. All right, let me ask you a question. Why do you need this money? I'm finishing up the complex. Then this money won't be enough. I know. I'm doing it in batches, rent, and use the money to finish up. Gladys came up with this idea. The girl that worked for your father? Yes. She is the business expert I employed. And she brought up this idea? And she's coming up with so much more. Then I would like to see this young lady to hear from her. Mom, are you saying that you don't trust me? I never said so, son. All I'm saying is, I really need to hear from this girl. At least, let me be part of this decision making. Mom, you are doing this because you're angry? Is that why? Mr. Brian, Moeta, do you or do you not need this money? Answer me. Of course I do. Good. Then you have to bring the young lady tomorrow. So fine. Look at this doll. Like it's fit. This doll part. See how it fits me. I love short dresses. Like you have no idea. Hello. Hi. Hi. I hope I'm not calling at the bad time. Oh no, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. What's up? Could you come over tomorrow morning? We would like to have a meeting with you. Um, by we you mean? Yes, my mother and I. Okay. Fine. Sure. Okay. Anytime before noon. Good for you? Yes, yes, that works. Great. Bye. See you then. All right, thank you. Bye. See you. Bye. He wants to see you again? Yes. Why? I don't know now. Let me go out, find out. Ha. Okay, uh -huh. yes. now. Oh, this is... Where is that one now? Where did you move it? So simple, but it's Please come in. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Please come. Have a seat. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, can I offer you anything? Oh, no, no, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, so how is the Zobo business? It's going well. It's yeah. not been easy, but we're, we're, we're on it, we're pushing. Okay. So, um, my mom will soon join us. Okay. But before she comes, I want to know the... Brian! Brian! You need to come and talk to mom. Uh, hello, hi. Hi. Hazel. Glad it's nice to meet you. Same here. What is going on? Can't you see that business? Come and see for yourself. Can I have a minute, please? Sure.
Mom, what is it? I hate insults. Honestly. Okay. What happened? You can't believe it. Mrs. Alfred insulted me. Why? What, what did she say? I sent her a message. Okay. You know, telling her that I won't be able to attend her birthday party. I wished her well. You can't believe what her was, reply to me. What was her reply? This woman just told me. Will it be that difficult for you to locate my house? Jesus. I mean, it won't cost you that much for you to get to my house. You won't spend that much. Or have you sold all your cards? How did she find out that we sold your card? I don't know. I don't know. We called some few friends before Uncle James finally found the buyer. Oh, was that how she got to know? That is a possibility. Oh, was that how she got to know? That's a possibility. <sighs> Mom, I am so sorry. I understand how much you value your friendship with her. But if she's sounding like this because we fell on hard times, then I don't think she was ever a friend. Now, Brian. What gave you the idea that friends are supposed to be cheering you up every time? Mom, that is exactly the meaning of friendship. You're supposed to be your backbone. No friend should kick you when you're down. Yes. All right, Mom. Ah, Gladys is downstairs. She's here to talk business with us. I think we need to start from somewhere. Oh, please, I'm not in the mood for that meeting. Mom, you are the one who asked me to call her. Then ask her to leave. Please, Brian. Is everything okay? Yes. Uh, motions are... Motions are just flying all over the place, but we'll be fine. All right. So, uh, you talked about the idea of finishing the complex in batches. I like it. Is there any other ideas we can... Discuss. Mm -hmm. There are so many other alternatives and I have a lot of ideas that I could share, but the challenge is the startup costs, which is the capital. That's the hardest part. Yes, that is true. Capital is a big problem right now. So what I think we should do is cut down. Hmm. Cut down, what, what do you mean? Uh, I need to take this call. It's very important. Hello? Guy Alpha. I'm all right. What's up? Did you sell your car? What? I just heard that you sold your car. <gasps> Louis. How do you hear these things that you hear? People just call me up and tell me stories, you know. So, everybody knows. Yes. Are things really that bad for you? No. We are good. Okay. Great. I just wanted to come in and make sure you are okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm okay. Thank you. Oh yeah, no, no problem. Later now. Later. Alright, we'll be safe.
Is everything okay? You know we can actually do this some other time. I'll just leave. Um... No, it's fine. Everything is not okay, but we're fine. Are you sure? I mean, the faster we started this, the better for us. I don't understand why everybody is on our case. We are starting all over. How is that a problem? Can everybody just cut us some slacks? Okay, 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 I see. Just calm down. Calm down. Take it easy. You know what they say. Every beginning requires an ending. What I'm trying to say is I think it's time you cut ties. Let go of every relationship that is not serving the purpose right now. Do you get what I mean? I mean, your current situation requires a fresh start. And by that, I mean anything that is not serving you. Relationships, situations, anything at all. You have to cut them off. You said a couple of things I would like to discuss further with you. Okay. Yes. And, um... Is it okay if you send me your address? I don't want to drag you down here again. My address? You want to come to my house? Oh, okay, I'll send you right away. All right, nice. Good night then. Good night. <sighs> I think I have to call Chief Alfred to let him understand what is truly going on so he won't think that I decided to stay away. Mom, what good is that going to do for us? I don't know. You don't know what the nearest future will bring. I would like to keep some of our relationships healthy. Mom, Brian is working really hard for us to see if he can start something good. So I think all we need to do is give him all the support that he needs. Who says I'm not supporting him? Then can we just leave this chief and family issues? Now what do you think Brian can get from the money we got from just selling a car? He's most likely to do something good with it. Yes, mom. And besides, you know that the issue between dad and chief was very serious, mom. Which didn't work out for your father. Your father lost so many businesses as a result of that fallout. You see, that's why we need to do something for ourselves. Yes, mommy. Mom, I'm hungry. I need to eat. Mom. Life is so simple, but it's complex. You can go from up to down. There's no crime, it's okay to start a dance. Hey, how are you doing? It's very well. Very well. What can I do for you? Anything cooked will be nice. I'm so hungry. Okay. Yeah. You've not had your breakfast. Yeah. Can I want me to open you? Yeah. All right. Oh, right. where's your car key? Where are you going to? I have a meeting. I need your car key. Okay, it's on the table. All right. Um, meanwhile, mom is itching to speak to Chief Alfred. What about? To plead with her that her not going for the birthday party. It's not to spite her. Mom is still yet to come to the realization that she's no longer married to a rich man. Ryan, mom is really still struggling with that. And who is that? One of the NGOs Dad used to sponsor. I'm so sorry. The pressure is now on you. It's okay. So where did you say your car keys is? On top of my makeup table. Right. So sorry, I'm hungry. I'll get it for you. Just enjoy. See you later. All right. Um, Peter, I'll be waiting for my breakfast. Sorry. All right. All right. So simple, but it's complex. Coming, I'm coming. 
Wasn't too difficult for you to look no, at. Have not a seat, at all. please. All right. Thank Sit you. Down. Thank you. <sighs> so, what a nice place. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What do I offer you? Zobo. <laughs> Are you sure? Of course. It's your business. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you tried it before? I want to try it. <laughs> <laughs> One delicious glass of Zobo coming up. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. This is good. Do you like? Yes. <laughs> what is in this? Um, so I've been experimenting. I've been using different fruits. And this particular one is mixed fruits. Watermelon, mango, pineapple, apple. Oh, this is really good. Awesome. So maybe I would give you some to go home with. I would appreciate that. Awesome. <laughs> hmm. So, yes, you said something at the house and kept me thinking. Okay, what did I say? Uh, something about um, new beginning. Oh yeah, that. Um, I said every new beginning starts with an end, right? Mm. It's something that has kept me going. It's almost like a mantra. Whenever I get to a very difficult situation or an encounter that is unpleasant, I think about it and it helps me forge ahead. The phase has really ended for us. It's, it's just crazy. <sighs> I'm sorry to hear about your dad. It's, um, he left some really big shoes for you to fill. I can't imagine the responsibilities you have to bear now. It's just crazy. There is no manual. It is overwhelming. Just try to take things, you know, a day at a time, a moment at a time. I don't know if it's okay that I say this, but I'd suggest that you have a total lifestyle change. You know, and give you time to catch your breath and take stock of your new reality. So, um, what exactly are you suggesting? I'm saying you might have to move to a smaller apartment. I can imagine that maintaining the house, the cars and everything that's you are accustomed to be so difficult, so I would suggest you could put up your main house for rent and rent a smaller apartment. The funds you get from putting up that house from rent can be used to invest in some of these business ideas we're talking about. And it could be long term or short term. You don't have to rent the house forever. You can always move back when you're standing firmly on your feet again and you don't really need to care about what people think or say if they shut you out even better what you need now are people that really care about you and are genuine that's my two cents wow this is brilliant But my mom will never agree to this. 
But then again, I need to do what a man needs to do. I will have to enforce it because this will benefit everybody. Exactly. The best decision I made was reaching out to you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> nice of you. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers to a new beginning. Yes, a new beginning. And good luck with your mom. <laughs> Oh, mom, you're here. Mm. I was looking for you. What is it, from? Mommy? Yes, dad. <clears throat> well, we really need to talk. Talk about what? The things we ought to be doing. All right, let me hear them. Okay. First of all, I, I will want us to move out of this house. What? What nonsense are you talking about? Mom, this house can give us a lot of money if we give it out for short and long leases. Then why in the world are we considering that? Because, Mom, we are broke. We need to cut down on expenses and make money before we start begging. Now you listen to me. Don't you ever come to me with such discussion again. Mom, you need to come to terms with the situation of things. This is your father's house. And man. we are not selling it. And that is publicly announcing to everyone that we are broke. And so be it, so long as we don't go back to them begging for food. I would never do it. Mom, if we don't do it now, very soon we'll sell Hazel's car, your car, and probably this house. Hey! You better be careful. I just knew it, that mom would not go with this idea. You don't understand. Are you not worried about how all this is going to look? I am more concerned about us going back to them. Do you know what is going on out there? They already know. They are talking. Okay, so why pretend? Why are we still putting up the appearance? You're right. And they're already distancing themselves from us gradually. Exactly my point. When was the last time any of your friends walked in here to invite you for an event? I already called Louis. I want him to come here so that we can have a discussion about what is going on. Let me tell him all the truth so that he can stop hearing the things he's been hearing from all around and probably help us spread the word to anyone that wants to know and let them run as far as their legs and carry them. I'm tired. Straight from the horse's mouth? Exactly. Because I'm tired. Because I don't understand why we are trying so hard to impress people who don't even care about us. We need to take care of our, ourselves, else we'll start begging for food. I just, I just don't I, I know it is difficult for mom, but so it is for us. Okay? Do you know how humiliating it will be if, if you had to call any of those people because there is no food in this house? We're already at that veg. Mom, this is happening. Oh, please don't tell me that. But it is the truth. So call Chief and let him know that the house is up for rent. But then whenever his friends from the country club comes around, they'll rent it out on short lens. You don't even have an idea. Of how much that has pressed me to the ground. You don't. I am officially announcing that I am broke. Mom, they are already aware that we are. Yes, they know. They know we've sold almost everything. Tell me, when was the last time we hosted anyone here? When was also the last time we went to anyone get together or party? My ex, he left me. Nikki left Brian. Nikki left him? Yes. 
So why are we giving ourselves the burden of friendship when there's people, none of them, are walking in here to ask us if we're doing okay, Mom? No one calls me anymore. Me too. Lord Louise, the leader of the House of Water. <laughs> Please. What's up? I'm all right. Are we starting our business? Oh, well, not yet. I actually called you here to let you in on what has been going on. Okay, so what's up? We are broke. What? Seriously? I sold my car and um, we are struggling. So this is really happening? Yes, it is. What are you going to do? Survive, build new businesses and nurture it. How's your mom taking it? Not well. Is that Surprisingly well. I'm so sorry, man. It's fine. I just wanted to let you know what is going on and to also inform you that the collaboration you talked about may not happen as soon as you would expect. So, but I'm working on a lot of things. You know, if I see where you can come in, I would uh, sure to let you know. But Brian, I sincerely appreciate this honesty. And um, please do let me know in any way I can help. Whatever you want me, in any way you want me to call me, please, I really want to. Sure. All right? I will. Please. I will. That's it. So, um, the leader of the house of the waiter. Lord Louis. I'll see you at the time. Okay? All right. Thank you. You Thank can you. go from up to down. I know it happens. There's no crying. It's okay to start again. When you fall, it's okay yes. to get up again. I'm so sorry I didn't take your call. No, 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 I was... Yeah, okay, madam, listen. Listen, let me explain something to you. My father raised us to value charity. But as it is now, I am trying to explain to you that it will not be convenient with the monthly donations. Listen. The f yes, ma. I'm trying to explain that we have some few challenges now that we need to take care of. And once everything is sorted out, I'll get back to you. But as it is now, we can no longer continue with the monthly donation. Exactly, ma. Thank you, ma. Amen. Amen. Yes, thank you. And thank you so much for all that you're doing for the children. Yes. Bye, man. Okay, if you want to go. Good evening, ma'am. My name is Brian, the son of late Chief Moweta. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. So I'm speaking to Mrs. Suches Wilson of uh, Lokogoma of Anishwa. Yeah? Okay, ma'am, I am calling. Can you two stop looking worried? Huh? What you're saying is that we may not go with you to the new house. Yes. 
That's because it might be a smaller place. But Ma, we can be coming from our own house if there's no room for us. But why? Why do you want to still work for us when you're not being paid? We like it here. And Auntie Azim, to clean and to cook is no easy. <laughs> it's so, so far. Yes, you need us. So you're saying I cannot do it? <laughs> No. Now look at your face, trying to make her get scared. Mm -hmm. What's this? All right, just relax, okay? Let's see this place first. I assure you, we will visit this conversation. Is that okay? Okay, ma'am. Can someone just set the table? I'm hungry. <laughs> mom, I'm hungry. Ah, <laughs> you. Okay, just, just my plate. Ah, Mom is not so hungry. Sweet. I never said so. Calm down. I, I, thought, I thought I was with a stepdad. Wicked boy. <laughs> <laughs> that you love so much. <laughs> Tell me that the proposal is ready. Um, it's almost ready. Okay. Um, now that you're here, I was hoping we could discuss a few options. All right. Let me get my laptop. Okay. Would you like Zobo? Yes, please. Get up, get up. Move on. Get up, get up. Oh, get up, get up. Move on. Get up, get up. Baby, look at you. Mm. Oh. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> now look at the way you smile. <laughs> My goodness. I remembered when you started this walk. You know, at first it was like the whole weight of this world was on your shoulders. Well, mommy, not like I was used to the 95. And also waking up very early to get ready. It was difficult at first. I know, I know, but I'm glad. Thank goodness you're enjoying it now. Yes, I am. I know. <laughs> so tell me, Madame Langley. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How is work, Mommy? Well, it went well. I just rented out the last shop at the complex. Oh my God, wait. You mean the whole complex is full? To the brim. I'm so Happy. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. not like you were this happy last year. Oh, just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? <laughs> okay, mom, uh, I have to go freshen up. Mm. You need it. Lord Louise. So this is what you've been hiding? I'm not hiding anything. I'm standing in front of your complex. Oh. Guy, this is beautiful. Okay Where are you there? I'm at home. Please send me your address. I need to come and learn at your feet. <laughs> please, 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 please. I'm driving to you now. Please send me your address. I'm coming now as we speak. All right, I will. All right, all right. Hello, Nikki. 
I'm fine. How are you doing? Oh, Brian is doing okay. Oh, yes, he's in town. Wow, really? Okay. Well, thanks for checking on us. We're all doing fine. <laughs> all right, take care. Bye. It's okay to get up again. To get up again. So get up, get up, move on, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Lord Lewis, the leader of the House of Water. <laughs> Lord Lewis, please. <laughs> Thank you. It's good to see you again. Mama. Same here, brother. Not bad, not bad. Well, we needed to cut down on spending. <laughs> The genius. <laughs> <laughs> when I turn genius, I see the silent moves you're making now. Well, I, I had no choice, and thank God the moves are working. <sighs> Please, how did you do it? Do what? I know it's not just the complex. I know you started a logistic company and also um, the transport co company too. Oh yeah, it's it's just some few cars now. Hmm. So a few cars. <laughs> yes. So, please, I'll ask again. How did you do it? Everybody's wondering how you've turned this your family story around now. Oh, well, you can literally do anything with the right people around you. So, having the right person around you makes all the difference. Hmm. That's why I'm tired of running around with this my cycle that gives me gist about other, other people's progress and downfall. While we don't even have our own achievement story. Well, I think anything that does not contribute to your progress, letting go, cutting off, is a must. Mm. Please, how do I partner with you? <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious, Brian. Oh, well, let, well, let me think about it. Please don't take forever to think about this. So I'll be on your neck. Oh. I just need to look at some businesses on my table and see where you can come in. Just give me a few minutes. Hmm. Don't take forever to think about this one. Bro. <laughs> okay, let me get sure you a new one. Guy. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. This is this is nice. Thank you. Hello? Hello? How are you doing this evening? I'm fine, and you? Not bad. You are smiling, aren't you? <laughs> like you aren't smiling yourself. Why are we always doing this thing? We're still meeting tomorrow, right? Yes, we are. Can't wait to see you. Can't wait to see you too. Good night. You too. Brian. I heard him on the call. Hmm. Too far for it. Oh my god, mom. It's been a long time. Hmm. Please put it on speaker. Hmm. Speaker, speaker. Hello. 
Hello, Chief. Good evening, sir. Yeah, how are you, Mrs. Moeta? I'm fine, Chief. What about my friend? She's well. She sends her regards. Um, it has been a long time. It's been a long time, all. <laughs> so how are the kids? Well, they are blessed. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. I'm hearing a lot of good things about Brian. Oh, Chief. <laughs> Brian is just like his father, very hardworking. Very true. And tell him to come and see me. I need us to do business together. I'm impressed by all I'm hearing about him. Sure, sure, Chief, I'll tell him. I'm expecting to hear from him. Believe me, Chief, he'll come and see you. All right, then. Take care. Bye-bye, Chief. Bye. Thank you. Really? <laughs> when does she never end? I mean, after going cold on us for so many months now. Indeed. Success has many friends. Hmm. Stop, boy. <laughs> <laughs> but what if we did not achieve what we have achieved today? Would he have called? Hmm. Which is why they say nothing about you should depend on another person. Not peace, not joy, not contentment, not happiness, not even a sense of purpose. You're so right. I mean, I can't believe that this little place and the fact that none of my rich friends are calling is giving me joy. Me too, Mom. I mean, life is so simple or complex, but it depends on how we actually all approach it. What? Mom? Mm -hmm. It's like she's beginning to have small, small sense. Come on, Fee. Fee. Oh, I'm loving that. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Fee. Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> so, um, would you want something to drink or mm. can you eat something? No, 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 no. I have to, I have to go and see Chief. You know, he called my mom yesterday that he wanted to see me seriously. Really? And as you can see, he has been blowing off my phone. Okay, superstar. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Thank you. You know, you saved my life. Me? I did. Of course you did. You you didn't just give me ideas. You stood by me and ensured that it worked. I was only doing my job. No. No, you had no obligation to, but you chose to. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I really like you. I like you. I mean, I like the friendship that we share. This is mine. I need to go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. You can go. All right. It's fine. I'll see you later. Okay. What you were looking for? Yes, we saw a really nice house, very isolated, perfect for manufacturing, and Brian actually likes it. Mm. Brian likes it. What's wrong with this one, babe? You guys have been together practically every other day for one good year, and you want me to believe that you guys are not in an unofficial relationship? Babe, stop now. 
Let my food digest. What is it? Stop waiting. I mean, I've seen the way he looks at you, and I've seen you guys lock eyes. Mm -hmm. Not only lock eyes, lock nose. <laughs> you think I'm joking here? I'm not a joke. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, the thing is, Brian is actually nice. Mm -hmm. Great guy. Down to earth. No airs whatsoever. Really smart. Hardworking. And so far, he's been very easy to work with. I guess that's why we've been able to do a lot together and achieve this much, to be honest. But you know the best part? Mm -hmm. He's very supportive of my dreams and ambitions. So, mm -hmm. yes, if your question is, do you like Brian? I like him. Mm, I like that one. You like him. <laughs> <laughs> but only as a friend. Uh, wait, what I like my friend? Take your spoon. I won't. Take your spoon. No! No, no wait now! No. 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 I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Oh, thank you. Good. Thank you, and you too. Mm. I like your hair. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> so what's going on? Um, hey brother. Hey Brian. <sighs> um, I'll just leave you too. Make it nice to meet you again. Same here. Hi, good to see you. You're welcome, sis. <sighs> Thank you. Um, Louise gave me your house address. Is everything okay? No. <sighs> what happened? Honestly, Brian. This past day, I have learned a lot. I like how much you have taken a different part from your father. I like the man you've become. Yeah. I am grateful. <laughs> yeah, um, Hazel told me you, you're not seeing someone. Hazel doesn't know what she's talking about. Wow. You mean you have someone? You wanted me to be alone when you left me? I am so sorry. You... I am... Please. No, it's fine. I'm... I am happier now. She must be something. No. <sighs> she is everything. Honestly, I regret leaving you. It's okay. Life goes on. Wow. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you again. <laughs> um, okay, please, can I call you from time to time to check up on you? Oh, no. No, no. No, she, she would not appreciate that. Oh, wow. All. Serious. <laughs> Beautifully serious. Okay. What if I oh, stop by to check up on you? It's still not okay. No problem. All right. Nice meeting you again. Same here. Have a wonderful life. <laughs> <laughs> to let you know that I have been dating you for a while now. What? Yes, I told my ex that I am in a relationship and it was you I was referring to. Me? Yes, you. What are you talking about? We are friends. 
I want more than friendship. Huh. What do you want? Absolute exclusivity of your entirety. <sighs> crazy. I am crazy about you. And I've done well trying to mask it all this while. Well, I have a confession. I, I've been doing a great job of masking my feelings for you. I want to build with you, plan with you, travel the whole world with you. I just want you in everything that has to do with me. I am dazed by the awesomeness of your personality. Please be my girlfriend. Do I get to choose where we travel to? 50% where? No, 80. 75? 77. Deal. Deal. <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm sure must have gotten in a lot of things wrong, but you, you are my perfect decision. You are beautiful. Everything about you is beautiful. You, you inspire me. I don't know how you do it, but you effortlessly make me happy. You are... Incredible. I mean, you might not be perfect, but to me, you're the perfect gentleman. And I love you. I love you more. <laughs> Get up, get up. 